हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावेल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस हाउ टू चेक आउट यूजिंग दिस ट्रैप सो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कवर लाइक एडमिन साइड ऑर्डर लिस्ट आई टोल्ड यू वी कैन डू लाइक सेंड इन वॉइस बट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू डू लाइक एडमिन साइड ऑर्डर लिस्ट एंड आफ्टर वी कैन डू ऑर्डर डिटेल पेज सो वी कैन सेंड इन वॉइस बिकॉज ऑफ वी कैन यूज डायरेक्ट कॉपी पेस्ट कोड दिस रीजन सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू शॉर्ट आउट लाइक एडमिन साइड ऑर्डर लिस्ट so we can cover in this video first you can log in as a admin just admin slash dashboard i already log in this reason not showing the login box means login page i already log in this reasons after you can go to dashboard and here we need to create a new menu like a orders before we can create a new menu you are new in this channel other in this series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning and also do you want to buy any script just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it here you can see it here and also do you want to develop your freelancer work just contact telegram whatsapp otherwise skype but we always prefer a skype so let's start now so after admin we can create a new page like a orders so just go to resources views layouts sorry admin inside you can see it like a uh, here is another page layouts layouts inside you can see it like app.blade.php and here you can see it like headers and set footers so i just go to headers so just scroll down so here you can see it lots of menu like admin menu there after you can see it like another menu category so category menu before we can do it like a orders so just you can change like a orders now admin slash orders list okay and here you can change like a uh, orders so you can see it proportional way admin slash orders slash list just save these files and just go back again refresh the page so you can see it here is a new menu available like uh, orders once i will click so we need to create a new pages means first we need to create routes after we can create a uh, pages so just go to like uh, routes web and here you can see it like category just you can put here and you can change here and here i can create a new control like a orders order order controller so this controller we need to declare above just scroll up and we can declare here okay same like here you can see like category controller same thing we have did here like a order controller just scroll down and we need to create a new models inside app http controller admin is not model new controllers sorry about that new files and just create here order controller.php it's possible you can create as a command but it's take time this reason i will create directly after just go to like category controller and you can copy all code and you can put here just scroll up and you can change like a category to order controller after you need to remove this space okay once you can remove this space we don't want to read any other url means other url means other function just remove just leave it list because of we have a call here you can see it here just scroll down sorry sorry here you can see list so we have created here like a list function and here is there is like category model so we need to change to order models order models and here also you can change order models here you can change category to orders now we need to create a new folder inside views means resources inside views inside you can see the admin admin said we need to create a new folder like orders and after we need to create a new file list.blade.php new folders orders and after we can create a new file list.blade.php is very simple very easy okay second one we can go to category inside go to list and we can copy all thing and we can put here okay just go up and we need to remove the 
add new category lines and here you can change category to orders orders list because of too, too many orders this is now added as years okay now here we can change one by one whatever database inside there but just you can leave it right now now we need to create a new function inside a orders model direct you can use it like a sub editor so you can use got a definition otherwise we, you need to go so app models inside you can see it like a order model dot php and just create a new function get record static function get records here you can we don't have to pass any parameter because this is the admin result we can create a one variable return is equal to order model select star because of we need to get all the data about orders now here we can make like conditions not condition like a where let's open the first database database instead we can open the like a orders tables after we can put here conditions so just go to back and here you can search your project like ecommerce.com and once you can search so you can see it here like a orders tables and this table inside you can see it here is payment is equal to 1 because this payment is done so always need to show what type order only payment is equal to 1 so is payment is equal to 1 and second one we can make order by descending order so id dac and last one we need to make like a paginate because of always need a pagination so one page we need to show 13 orders okay let's go back again we also need to check one condition is delete is this order not deleted by the admin otherwise users suppose we can provide it like this future so we can make it is delete is equal to zero one means is it deleted so everything is clear just you can write here returns dollar returns whatever variable there you can put here okay here also there like a user id which user id against you are sending the orders but we are using like guest wise so we don't need okay so do you want to make join query so you can make join query but you can make like a left join query because of sometime id is not available sometime people doing as a guest orders this, this is the reasons okay let's go back again and now we need to go to like a list list.blade.php before we can go to list.blade.php let's refresh the page so we can check what we can receive just go back refresh the page so error generated so we can solve so error not generated so we don't have to solve now here is error because of we have a error here semicolon i think you are watching the video so you know where is the error but i will refresh the page after i see the errors okay just remove let's refresh the page now so you can see it's working very well no issue here is a column not found here is a name wise problem so we need to make whatever there inside database we need to do here first of all is a first name last name company name country we need all things so let's make it one by one so here we can make name so is the first name last name we can store second one is a company name so just copy and put here company name let's go back a bit country just put here country address one so here you can just put like a one line address so we can concat just concat address okay because address 1 address 2 we can store inside after city state and postcode so you can do it here like a city state and postcode otherwise zip code whatever do you want to like you can do it your end okay next one is a phone email not phone email and not let's go not we don't need we can create a new pages like detail pages after we can store okay so not we don't need let's go discount code discount amount shipping amount so we need to store all so discount amount here we can pass second one is like shipping amount let's go to back again 
like discount code also we need to type we have type cannot type yes here is a discount amount not shipping amount so it just you can change here discount amount shipping amount finally we need to show total amount so just copy and put here total amount last one we can show here like a created dates okay and here also we can show like transaction id id and also we need to show here like a payment methods which payment methods and last one we can show like a action so we can do it like a detail page this reasons okay so let's remove the year two url there we can add a new url once we have developed so created we need status we don't need status also we can add a status but status i will explain later how to work status like a pending deliver payment fail whatever we can do it status we can do it here status okay so actions is already blank here there created date and time also we can show so h i and you can put here a so am pm also can see it let's make a small so am pm look like a professional okay so first of all company name name so we can change here country state city discount code i just write professional way this reasons otherwise no any reasons so put do you want to write you can write it your end whatever name do you want to like you can put your side name okay so let's make it step by step first we can do id so id already there second is the transaction id so put here transaction id name so first name last name we can put here first name is the all testing data so we have no issue okay last name let's go back again after we can shoot like company name so just copy and put here company name next one is a country here is the address one address two you can put it like this address two and here you can type like a br so automatic going to next line okay let's go back again we can check address one city state so here is a city state so just you can type here city after we can write like a state next one is like a postcode okay after the emails discount code because I know what is the column name this reason I am typing directly discount amount next one is the shipping amount final is the total amount okay and last, last one is the payment methods let me check this name is the payment method the difference so we can understand easily so let's go to back again and here you can check it like a payment methods okay so perfect no issue so let's go back again refresh the page so we can see it like transaction amount shippings lots of i think we can remove the transaction id here we can show inside detail page because of some time transaction id is very big so look like not professional this is the reasons okay just you can remove so do you want to leave you can leave it i just need to remove okay and here also i can do like a style overflow overflow auto so scroll bar can see it also because it's going to outside you can see design this is the reason now overflow auto you can see it here so credits here there it is here the payment method so something is a missing still company name country address city state post code okay phone number is missing so we can add here phone after post code we can add a phone we have added direct email this is the reasons okay so let's go back again refresh the page 
so you can see because of i have had all this testing data this is the your side showing testing like country is not showing so what is the problem you are not storing country is their country so why is not storing one minutes okay because of i have made a spelling mistake country okay so sorry about that because data vision said spelling mistake but now i can't solve okay so is country you can see it address also there two lines city state all is the testing data discount code shipping amount total amount payment methods status credit date and actions so you can see it here is a order list okay simple so now we need to make like something number format so look like a professional number format two same thing you can make like a shipping amount number format and last one you can make it like a discount amount number format okay let's go up and here you can make like dollar sign because of all amount is available inside that dollar so just you can put here dollar here also you can put dollars so we don't want to put here just above is dollars we know okay this is the amount for the dollars let's go back again refresh the page so you can see the dollar sign here is a showing the number format so look like a professional and here is a you can make it like a style text stands for and capitalize so look like a professional you see stripe after this paypal also going to capital letter this is the reason so just you can put here new style tech transfer is a capitalize let's go back again refresh the page so you can see stripe paypal and cash so here we can put like a view button here we can put like a pending approved means in progress and deliver we can use only three status right now pending in progress and deliver and cancel so do you want to add more so you can add your right side this is the like simple work just when to change the status when to send emails like this work here there otherwise order list always showing look like so here we can put like another button like a view button but view button i will show you in next video once we can add a view button after we can do it like a status works and after we can do it like a place order this time we can send an email so people know about okay what is the invoice for these guys this is the remaining i know because of i need to show here data after we can put views this is the reasons okay so i hope you can understand how to make order list inside the admin side so but do you have any questions so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our error solution and thank you for watching error solutions